Neve Shalom, Wachdat El Salam, Oasis of Peace. So your first language is Hebrew? Well, before you came here, could you speak Arabic? <laughs> and you can speak both now? Yeah. What's the most special thing about this school? Peace. Arabic uh, children and Jewish children play together. Sometimes we speak in Hebrew, sometimes we speak in Arabic. This is real, you know, where we are at a place where Jewish kids are talking to Arab kids and showing respect to each other and learning about each other. That's a start. It's got to start somewhere. It's not going to start from the other end. We've seen that. You know, what I can say in uh, Hebrew is shalom. End of story. <laughs> can I ask you a question about the history you are taught? How it is, why it is, that Jewish people are living here now? After the Shoah, the Holocaust, they come here. To be yeah. safe, to be find a home because here. Because in the Bible, uh, God say it's your place. Jewish people come here because uh, they say that God promised them in Israel. Okay. So, but when they came here, who was here already? Uh, the Arabs. Okay. So, so you had Arabs living here. But the Arabs didn't want them, then it started a big war. And Michael's new book is about a Palestinian boy who flies kites over the wall with Salam written on them. And one day when the wind changes, the kites come back with Shalom written on them by Jewish children on the other side. It's the kids deciding that's enough. We want to make friends here. About 20 children then scatter around the classrooms, into the computer room, into the lobby, to sit on the floor together to make kites themselves. Hexagonal kites on wooden frames held together with string and covered with paper. Make sure you cut it straight this time. <laughs> Each kite-making group is mixed spontaneously, their teacher, Raida Ayashi Khatib, tells me. Here, for example, you have three Jews, two Arabs. There you have one Arab for Jews. There you have four Arabs, two Jews, and so on. And are they all now, by this age, easy together? Yes, when they get to this class, yes. And do they play together and socialize together? And yes, yes, they are very socialized. They go to each other's homes. They go for a movie in the afternoons. They visit each other. They share a lot of things together in the school and outside. How are you doing here? Are we going to be able to fly these? We can fly them? The children are messengers of peace. They live here, they had the experience of living together, knowing each other, so they are not generalizing anymore. They're not talking about the Arabs or the Jews as if we're talking about aliens or the other. It's going to be slowly. We don't have this dream that, like that, it's going to happen. It's not a hocus pocus. It's a process. Sometime in the future, it's going to be spread out. Well done. It's coming, it's coming. And so out onto a country road near the school. And one, two, three. In Arabic. The children rush away. The kites fly high. Well, most of them fly high. Kites, of course, have a universal predator. That is the sound of a kite being recovered from a tree. <laughs> <laughs>